All right, guys, I want to do something slightly different. Um, please, firstly, excuse the noise in the background. It looks like it's just too noisy outside. It's raining, too much planes flying over in the heart of London. What can I say? But hopefully, it's not overbearing. But I'll jump straight into the video. All right, so we're going to be covering quite a few coins today. We're going to start off with cheers. Cheers to you. Well, not quite, because it looks as though that we are doom and gloom and looking to go for a turbulent ride and might smack face floor to the ground but but this looks like it could be the same in grace just for now and we're not doing too shabby i mean we are going we are rolling sideways uh pointing towards down Point was downwards and uh, it looks like we have in fact broken slightly below over here in fact we should be anywhere between here and there reason why because if you look at the whole move itself i should have done to be honest now i'll just expand that bit more because initially it was this move that created this whole entire drag to the, to the downside and we haven't quite stayed above this zone so that means this is a valid sideways action from this original move which means this is now the support and that is the resistance until we break down below here then yes we could be looking at a much you know further move to the downside but hopefully that won't be the case we had a bit of a scare over here where we went all the way down with in fact wicked even further below but we got bought up straight away so it looks like there are some you know signs of strength within cheers token so we can create like another rectangular box within that area right here something like this and we just need to make a decision now whether we want to be breaking above here sooner rather than later hopefully that will be the case just going to change the color of that there we go so Either we break to the downside or to the upside, I'm not too fast guys. If we go further down, guess what? I'm adding a lot more low to my bag. And just like some of the guys in the comments saying that, you know what, it's not that bad really. I mean, this is what I expected, you know, during the uh, you know, Bitcoin happening, which is very imminent right now. So when Bitcoin drags down, it drags the whole entire market down to the ground, even more so with meme coins. So for any of you guys who hasn't been around with uh, crypto space for too long, guys, it's going to be a bumpy ride, that's for sure. Do not fear, do not sell your positions. In fact, just don't sell. <laughs> it's not financial advice, just, just don't sell. Because you are helping Cheers to go down even further. If you do so, guys, I'm still going to buy it up regardless. Because if I buy a lot more over here, that means the upswing is going to be even much more tantalizing, finger licking, amazing, and juicy as hell. Because from down here to all the way up here, that's going to give me t literally, look at this. Yeah, it's going to give me 10x. So it won't be too shabby at all for anyone who's looking for a possible further move to the downside. The question is, how far down can we go before we make the rally up? Or are we currently holding for the sides sideways for now? Before ultimately choosing to move upwards from here, if you do, I would like us to target to at least round about this area here because that's the last failed high. Then we got pulled back down, then it went back down even much further, thanks to Bitcoin, of course, and the expected halvening. So if you measure it from here all the way up to there, that's going to give us still 232%. I'll still be in a pretty decent profit. Once that happens, but I'm going to add a lot more load to my bag now so I can get even more before eventually breaking up here to retest its all time high. So right now, it's not too much it is still kind of boring but we just need to see some excitement and the only time we see excitement that's only if we break to the upside here or to the downside i don't know guys what do you reckon leave that in the comment let me know if you're still bullish on cheers i am don't know about you but let me know let's move on to the next coin we got onto black ox in you and guys it looks like yeah we have dropped down further however it's not too bad if you ask me because of the whole grand scheme of thing if i just zoom out a bit more in a larger time frame we are still just barely holding this area over here it's not until once we do finally capitulate in it and break down below over here then i could see a much further move to the downside 
because if we look to our left <laughs> yeah this is quite disgusting actually guys at least for now we would be extremely bearish if we break below this rectangle box over here and if we do so then wow we should be seeing a much much further move to the downside how much so we could be looking at approximately 88 percent move to the downside or otherwise if we hold here and consider this as a double bottom then quite possibly once we do break up here we should be reversing back up to the top now that could be an actual um play right now because we've made this bottom here it looked like we're about to come back and retest or might, maybe we retested already and it looks like we could in fact be heading away back to the top or at least back up to this all-time high well this last move to the upside this move here would be quite interesting actually because one all we saw just nothing but red can red candles over here we pumped up so no red in between the greens and we pump back down again so it gives me the confidence that if we do actually break up slightly above over here then we should be expecting at least for the short term a not bad move 20 percent move to the upside only until we break well above here then could we see a reversal which means we should be on a way to push to the upside so i know some people like to use support line or the trend line something like this and say yes we've actually broken to the up came back down now we're retesting we're forming a rounding bottom which means that we are having a more confidence and confluence that we should be heading away at least back up to retest that zone there so if you were to load more of your bags from here to there you could be expecting at least like 140 percent move to the upside that's already one x but what if you already have like a lot of positions up here already where you were collecting a lot of black hoxy in you mind you i'm the same case scenario I mean, i've bought so much up here there and all the way over here so i'm locked and loaded waiting for that massive push to the upside so right now we're not doing too too shabby so guys do us all a favor just stay calm and vigilant only until we break down here you guys can make your own decisions but if you ask me and again not financial advice i would say just keep on adding baby add more and more to your bags and then once we see that blast off then you'll be nicely rewarded and that takes us nicely over to cox enu because as soon as cox enu blasts its way to the top then i can imagine black cox enu will then follow suits so yeah that is just a prediction and guys this could actually really play out as well but as far as coxini is concerned coxini is not doing too bad firstly excuse all the drawings fibonacci retracement tools wagyu beef lime candlesticks or whatever i have done this in my previous video so you can see at least you know trans i like to be more transparent so you can see exactly where i left off from, from my last video of Cox Inu. and yes it looks like that we are in a much better position because we pulled all the way back down here and then the since the recent actions from bitcoin dragging the whole market down it hadn't dragged down the Cox Inu that much if you ask me so it looks like we've actually broken up from this range over here so as we can see here this range that range we pumped up obviously we've gone sideways for a little bit before we've actually went back down and then from here it looks like we could be on our way back up again but i just need to see a few confirmations first you can add well for me there's two confirmations one if i see say for example this green candle finishes bigger than this red candle then that could be a bullish confirmation that we could be on a, on a move to the upside however if this remains the same and then the next candle happens to be a bigger green candle than this one here then that means we are more than likely to at least be test back up into this zone here before eventually going back up to that last recent high or the all-time high then we get into the price discovery um, stage but until then we just gotta wait and see what happens but the second uh, way of looking at this, or second confirmation, would be once we do break up above from this range over here, then it should easily be testing 
back up to the last all times high before we go even much higher. So there's two points. One, engulfing green candle over here. Two, once we do break up from here, that's even a bullish continuation to the upside. So if I look at the trade here, for instance, and we do push back up into the zone, I've been watching carefully how we react in this zone, because you can see it built up of candles over there, which means there's more liquidity in this area across over here. And only until I see a confirmation of move, move to the upside, then I'll be holding on from this trade from there till there, and that should give me anything around about yeah around about 44 45 percent let's say 43 percent move to the upside not too shabby so yes yeah, so, so it looks like coxinu is in better shape than cheers and also than black coxinu now let's move on over to the final coin which right guys is... before we head over to the final coin I would like to bring to your attention that you can also jump into my Patreon as you, I have three different memberships that you can choose from. Become a the friends shout out where you pay £1.50 to join and that way you get a shout out per every video. Otherwise, if you join on a Total Crypto family, you gain all these perks and, be, and get early access to my videos before it goes live. Or, and also if you're interested in trading, I've actually got a training coaching program for you right over here, which only cost 17 pounds US dollars. It's around about 19 or 20 dollars. And that way I can show you exactly how to trade on a demo account. That way we can build up your confidence, find out you know your trading strategies and your appetite. And that way I could be helping to become more profitable on a demo account before we go on to a live account. So hopefully you find this useful and informative. If you've got any questions about any of these guys, just let me know in the comments, or otherwise I'll see you over at the final Patreon. Coin. So let's get which back to is the final Bonk. Coin. Bonk is not, it's not doing too badly. It's actually been going sideways for the longest, more than um, Black Ox Inu, Cheers. Whereas Cheers and Black Ox Inu has actually um, been going down this is quite this is quite good news actually from Bonkini we're just ranging here from sideways let me just pull out the uh, rectangular like a long box and then we'll measure it from yep yeah, the smooth over here because that's a retest but we didn't go much higher than there we dropped back down all right so something like this would be quite valid actually because if we do fall below over here then yeah it's going to take us much further uh, down to the ground yeah so from here to there we should be expecting a roughly run about further yep yeah, 35% moves to the downside which is not too bad in fact that could be a perfect accumulation area over here but to be fair whilst we've been ranging that's also a good area to uh, you know, lock up, you know, get some of your bags for that moonshot because only until we do break well above this area over here, then I can see us quite easily breaking through the last all time high and to get into discovery phase. I do believe Bonk is going to be one of those crazy performers in the uh, the bull season, that's for sure. And it's, it's shaping up a lot more nicer, nicer than the. Uh, the other three coins however i would say perhaps in terms of the way the chart setup looks like it looks like yeah the cox inu is more on a bullish case because we went higher high than over here we pull back down this could be the level of um a continuation to the upside so that could be a lower lower high a higher low and then if we push up from here then it should be easy going up to, towards that 43 percent move to the upside before ultimately smashing through there so structurally i would say perhaps cox inu is better but this is quite bullish still where we're just ranging on the sides because once we range long enough we should see like a parabolic move to either direction and i reckon i reckon which that should be a move to the upside 
Let me know what you think, guys. Are you bullish on either Bonk, Cox Inu, Black Cox Inu, or even Cheers? If I left out any coins that you would like me to cover, guys, please let me know in the comments and I'll do so hopefully in this evening. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. I hope you do find this video useful and informative. Tell me, guys, what you reckon. Is it worth me doing technical analysis on four coins in one video or would you just rather me do separate videos? But anyway, you let me know. So guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to me, subscribe to me right over here. And for all of you who have, guys, why don't you just check out these two videos over here. And I'll see you all in the next one. The next one.